This basic approach will change your freestyle dance for the better. So stay tuned. This video is brought to you by Beyond the Move, the freestyle dance program for any dancers at any levels. So what I'm talking about is that for every movement that you are learning or any concept or any technique that you're gonna be learning in your dance journey, there are three um, things that you can add to those information that you're gonna be getting that will drastically change your way of approaching movement, concept, um, and pretty much anything that you're gonna be doing in your dance. And the three things that I'm talking about is, are uh, the first one is mindset, second one is movement, and the third one is music, right? So when you have those three combined and you, you kind of find ways to always have them in your freestyle, right? Then you will ultimately uh, uh, improve your freestyle and make your freestyle uh, look much better. So the thing is, how can, can we implement this approach in our freestyle? So let's take a simple movement like the Reebok, for example, right? So I'm gonna show you the Reebok first, and then after that, we're gonna see how can we, uh, how can we utilize those three principles, mindset, movement, and music, in, uh, in a simple movement, in a basic movement like the Reebok, okay? So, what is the Reebok? Re the Reebok is basically this movement, right? Is this one, up, up, hop, 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 hop. So, very simple, and you know, uh, as you already know me, uh, I'm, I don't necessarily like, you know, uh, teaching um, a dance move, you know, you can find this all over uh, the internet. So I'm gonna show it maybe two more time. And then after that, I'm gonna start diving into the principle of it so that you can use it in your freestyle, okay? So basically the Reebok, once again, you go like this, like this, hop, hop, and then boom, boom, ha, ha, okay? So very simple movements, but once again, Let's see how we can implement those three principles inside it. Okay, so the thing is, the first, the first one is mindset. And mindset, um, we have you know so many uh, things that we could be talking about when we talk uh, when we talk about mindset and and find ways to kind of attach mindset to dance, right? So there are many different ways that we could potentially do that. But I'm gonna be focusing on one one idea for today when it comes to mindset, which is focus on the delivery instead of the content. So let me say that again, focus on the delivery instead of the content. So when you see a movement like the Reebok, okay, you think like, okay, okay, how, how, do, I, how do I do this movement? That's the first step. You want to understand, you know, the mechanic of this movement so that you can, you know, uh, replicate it, right? So you can do it for yourself. That's good. But then it's only a movement. Now, if you start thinking, how can I deliver? this movement and, and go beyond the content of this movement, this is how you start integrating your way of moving to that movement, right? So that's the first step. So for example, if you've got this step right here, hop, hop, pam, pam, hop, hop, pam, pam, once you understand it and you understand how to do it, the second thing that you're gonna start thinking about, it, which is, how can I kind of uh, fully integrate this in my natural way of moving? And basically, in other words, you want to start becoming as comfortable as possible with that simple movement so that it can be part of your natural way of moving. And this is how you will be able to deliver the movement in your natural way of moving instead of just focusing on, okay, the content, which is, okay, they showed me it has to be like this and this, like that and that, and then I, replicate it, okay, or, or uh, I just do it, okay? You, you go beyond than just implementing the movement, but you actually find ways to integrate it in your style, right? So that's the first step. The second one is uh, music. Music is finding ways to always, always rely on the music and to see the music as your partner. Right. So when you see the music as your partner, you see like, okay, you, okay, I'm actually not alone in this. 
The music is my partner. I can, how can I rely on the music to deliver a better performance, right? So relying on the music vibe, okay, really, really identify this, you know, as soon as possible in the music is very important because when you are able to do this, then all of a sudden your, your, your movement, you know, go, you actually go beyond the movement and you actually start, you know, creating a relationship with the music. So that's the second step. So once you say, okay, all right, I understand the movement. I don't want to focus only on just implementing that movement, but I also want to deliver this movement with my own natural way of moving. That's one. And then you start thinking, okay, and also I want to identify the music vibe so that I can implement it, you know, and then kind of create a relationship on the spot with the music. Then the third one, is going to be movement and once you movement move um, uh, the approach with movement that we can talk about today and once again there are many different ways that we can do that but i'm going to be focusing on one which is variations so once you have you know this movement and you 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 feel comfortable with it and then you start thinking mm, how, can, how can i play with this movement as much as i can in my freestyle so based on this what can i come up with you know, and this is how you start kind of uh, enrich your vocabulary. You know, vocabulary is not necessarily having um, a lot of um, movement or a lot of concept or a lot of techniques. Is how much can you actually use the things that you have and expand them? You know, and 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 by doing this, you are expanding uh, your your vocabulary, but also tapping into your creativity to play with movement. You see what I mean? So once you have these three approach, once you understand these three approach, then whatever you are doing, you just apply them. Which is, I want to focus on delivering my natural way of moving, no matter the concept, no matter the idea, no matter the movement, and also. I rely on the music as my partner and thirdly movement how can I play with this movement how can I play with this concept how can I play with this idea as much as I can right so once you have this in mind then once again the the possibilities become endless right so I'm gonna let's just explore these ideas now so I'm gonna play the music and then we're gonna start exploring just the Reebok Okay, and trying to gradually start adding, you know, my natural way of moving with this free box and then also attach to the music vibe and at the same time still start seeing how can I play with it differently and add some variation to it. So first, it's just going to be exploration mode. Okay, so let's go for it. So like I said, here, you're just like, okay, I've got this movement. I've got the music here, and the, mu the movement, once again, is Reebok. Yes, so now that I understand, okay, this is, you know, this basic that I'm playing with, I keep doing it more and more. Yeah, and now I start thinking, okay, yeah, how can I, you know, add variation to this and start, you know, just keep the principle of the movement, right? The mechanic of it, but start playing differently and start thinking about how can I add some variation to this? Yeah, but of course, most importantly, the music is my partner. So I'm adapting to the music vibe, you see? Yeah, and once you are processing it this way, any movement or concept, then all of a sudden you have so much, so many options basically with just one movement. You see, and once again, the music is my best friend here. The music is my best friend to, to play with the re, 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 we back. That's the goal here. All right. So I had to, you know, I, uh, I had to explain it with words first, right? And then 
attach movement to it to kind of show you you know the approach and i don't want you to overthink it don't be like okay now i start dancing okay i need to think about mindset i need to think about movement i need to think about music no you're just learning these informations to kind of have a better structure to what you are doing but when it's time to doing them in the moment, you don't need to think about them. Because if, if you've been practicing them, right, then they're just gonna, you know, you just need to trust your skills and let them come naturally to you in the moment, okay? And, and so, 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 th so that's the goal here. It's just understanding these three principles and then start playing with them with any movement or any concept or any uh, technique that you're gonna be doing uh, you know in your freestyle okay now I'm just gonna play the music I'm gonna do a demo where now I'm just you know go kind of a, a little bit beyond the exploration mode and actually try to perform with the, the Reebok while adapting to the music vibe yeah and just basically uh, implementing what I've been sharing with you uh, since the beginning of this video all right let's go for it <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. So that's it, you know, that's pretty much it. So for me, my goal with this channel is really to make freestyle accessible, as accessible as possible. Because a lot of people tend to kind of uh, overthink it, right? Yes, freestyle dance is not easy, but the approach can be simple. And my goal is to simplify it as much as possible so you can grasp the ideas and then make, him, make them the, your own and play with them. You see what I mean? And all of a sudden you will realize that, okay, yes, it is accessible. Yes, it requires work. And yes, it requires time to get to a certain level, but the approach doesn't have to be complicated. You see what I mean? So that's my message here. And if you want to dive even deeper into this approach, which is understanding how can you disconstruct pretty much anything that you know about your way of moving, your maybe technique that you've been working on and all of that, and find ways to simplify them and also simplify your training process so that you can get better results, then I'll invite you to join Beyond the Move, you know, to give it a try, seven day free trial, and see how it go for you. And maybe we're gonna be still working together after the seven days trial, okay? So well, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one, all right? See you, take care, bye-bye.